before we get into this video, I just want to let you know that I've teamed up with AWDIT and GameMax to give away a tempered glass gaming PC case along with fans and the GameMax Iceberg liquid cooling system. Running until the end of the month, this incredible giveaway could provide you with all you need to house your build and keep it cool. To enter, or if you want to find out more about these awesome products, check the description down below. Good luck. Hey, how's it going everyone? Nimble here for subscribe, back for another Minecraft Dungeons video to lead you in the right direction. In this video, I'm going to show you where to find all of the secrets and chests at Creepy Crypt. Be sure to explore all of the level as you go, usually the further away from the main objective you are, the more likely you are to come across something valuable. Quick tip, when exploring it pays to go in the opposite direction the marker is telling you to. While the secrets seem to be the same every time you play a level, there is a semi-randomized element to the location of the chest, so use mine as a general guide. So I have my first secret chest by the entrance here. Then following the path up and background behind the entrance, there's this tomb door that slides open. And you got to climb down into the tomb, I think, to open that one up. That's our second secret chest. This guy here. Activate him, take out the enemies. And you'll get another secret chest. The next one's just a regular chest. So this one, I think the way it randomly generates it rather than block by block is like room by room, randomly rotating rooms at 90 degree angles. There's another secret one here. These guys will be hidden in the walls all over the place. Again, it depends. Sometimes the rooms just don't exist. When you first come into the game, into the level, open up the map and check in the bottom left corner to see how many secrets and chests there are. That number I think will vary. Sometimes you'll have more. It's worth sometimes backing out and coming back in, I guess, to get more chests. Activate that tower, you'll definitely have that one there. And there's another regular one. Push this button here. Slides open the door. Again, you'll definitely have this one. It's part of the objective. Let's take out these enemies. That door will open up. I decided not to go up there just yet. I wanted to follow this path down to the left. And down here I found another one of these guys. With another secret chest. I was about to make my way up here. And then all these guys spawned in randomly behind me. I think they're supposed to have been like activated on my way back out. And then I ended up wandering off. I found this little room here. I thought it looked good, but didn't think much of it. But here's me coming back later because there's the button I missed. And this was actually one of the best chests I assume. Unfortunately, the loot in it isn't very good. That's an obsidian chest. Ignore those numbers, because that's later on. So, continuing where we left off. Down here, you'll have this button. That was spawning quite a few mobs, and you get trapped in that little room there a, a bit. Another regular chest. Another regular, hidden down in this bottom bit. And then I decided to head back up here and get this one. And this is also where the objective is, the tomb that you've got to collect. Couple of chests up here. No secret ones. So that's the exit, but I'm not going to head out there yet because there's a whole another path that leads off to the left here. There's another secret one from that. Another one right at the end of the passage down here. Time to head out this exit. I think we've checked everywhere now. 
We got ourselves a loot pig. Hopefully you find one too. And we've got a unique, the twin bow. So I was making my way down to the exit, checking everywhere, and I've still got three secrets and a regular chest to find. And as far as I know, I've searched everywhere, every corner, every space, so I come all the way back to the beginning. And this gate is open. What you didn't see is when I first came into this map, I was running around trying to open that gate, seeing if there was a way to open it. So I thought I'd just show this little area of me running around. I don't think I've ever seen it before in any other videos, so I might make a, a video on that later on. And there's our second to last chest. Oh, there's our last chest. Wicked. So, so that's all of them. Nine secrets and 16 chests. 25 secrets and chests in total. I've had enough of running lengths of this dungeon now. You should see all the, all the lengths of clips that I've had to cut out of this. I wonder what loot we're going to get. A fishing rod. Well, that's it for this one. Hope you found this video helpful. If so, drop a like down below. Thanks for dropping by. Join the squad and subscribe. And I'll see you on another video. Peace out.